Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Voices by Corey and Psycho Goldfish. Welcome, everyone, to a brand new episode of the New Grounds Podcast. I am your host tonight, Voices by Corey, and I am joined with none other, the most iconic goldfish of all time, Psycho Goldfish. Say hello, Josh. Yay, I'm iconic. Hey. <laughs> and we Ooh. also have a, another special guest host with us tonight. You guys know him as the interstellar little alien guy who makes music on New Grounds. It is the real Mr. Snuggles. It is me, guys. It is me. Finally. (laughs) Finally. Finally. How you doing, Snugs? I'm doing fine. Thank you, my good friend. (laughs) That's actually not how I talk. (laughs) That's normally not how you talk. (laughs) No. I'm I'm really normally he's a lot drunk. We should we should introduce the guest as well. (laughs) Okay, I mean I guess we could. We could. But yeah, tonight on uh, tonight's episode of the New Ground Podcast, we decided to bring on two very prominent uh, members of the New Grounds community. A uh, one who is well known in the the music side of things. You know him as Terravex. What's up, buddy? Ooh. Whoa, what up? How's it going? That's me. That's me. And we have another one who is putting together this really, really cool game that we'll be talking about tonight. He's also a very talented artist on Newgrounds. He's participated in some animations and some games as well. It is Rashuda Man! What's up, buddy? Hello, hello. I think you're overselling it a little bit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need to do. You know, we, we have to have some energy on the show. Yes, more man, energy the better. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, we, we got hit. We got hit with some uh, very sad news yesterday. So, oh, yeah. we're, we're just trying to oh, yeah. live up to some oh, yeah. good energies here on AGP. But uh, yeah, I just heard we, uh, about Live Corpse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Live Corpse is currently uh, having coffee with uh, our, our former host Will Comer, who is also good <laughs> to us. <laughs> Who's dead to us? Yeah, <laughs> if you got if you guys saw Will's announcement yesterday, um, he has decided to unfortunately step down from his hosting duties here on NGP. Um, but you know, it, it's all because he wants to take care of some personal uh, personal matters in his life, and personal matters always come first. Um, you know, I mean, for us, you know, NGP and drinking beer comes first. So I don't know what his <laughs> priorities are. So that's kind of shocking yeah, but <laughs> some of us some of us have priorities but priorities guys <laughs> but no yeah we we he, he, he abandoned his baby this is his baby he abandoned. <laughs> this, exactly who does that <laughs> uh will um uh goodell i mean fuck i mean the founding members are gone it's just us numb nuts <laughs> trying to keep the show going now I kind yeah, it's of like feel... party of five. It's like the fucking original parents are dead, and now we have to raise this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, we're kind of at this this age where we're at the point of blossoming, and uh, we can only fuck ourselves up even further. You know, our parents have led us uh, down a good path in life, and you yeah. know we're we're becoming this this great individual, and now. You know, they've sent us off to college and now we're going to be introduced to drinking and drugs and hard rock and roll and sex and all that good stuff. And now we're just going to go down the the shitter. There's no doubt about it. (laughs) I do got to say, Corey, you're you're definitely blossoming. Your breasts are coming in. green. (laughs) (laughs) My 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 dad bought titties are, you know, they're they're in full blossom right now. I think I'm out like a a B cup right now. So I'm telling you, man, they're majestic and they're quite hairy also so i don't know if that was a side effect to you know just drinking too much but hey i'll take it <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah uh, we 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 just want to say uh thank you to uh will and um you know we're, we're gonna miss him because he was of course a pivotal part of the show and yeah we're, we're definitely gonna miss him we hope the he's just stepping down to a regular role so he will be around so it's not like he won't forever be gone we're definitely gonna try to bring him on to an episode whenever we can so Good luck to you, Will, in your endeavors. There's no doubt that you will find the job that you were looking for. And if you're looking for the job of fluffer, jo- Josh is looking for the you know someone to fluff him at, at any time of the day. Yeah. So you can you can apply uh, for that. Will's 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 hands are too small. We, we, I'm still looking. 
<laughs> well, what one thing we uh, one thing we want to do before we uh, get into uh, the interview tonight with Tara and Mr. Prosciutto, man, is talk about something that Zim put together. Um, you know, we've you, I know that the Friday Night Funkin' Boys are steadily busy watching the yep. uh, the entries for the Friday Night Funkin' Jam, and. Uh, People are getting a little restless. They want to know what their decisions are for the contest. So Zim went ahead and uh, did a top 10 of his favorite uh, entries for the Friday Night Funkin' Jam. Uh, it's about 50 minutes long. So this this guy literally broke down submissions. And you know Zim, he, he's very detail-oriented. He loves picking things apart and telling you what he likes and and you know things that he doesn't like. <laughs> but it's I, I haven't watched the whole thing yet, but... Just, just hearing his breakdown and seeing uh, the submissions that he liked, you know, it's cool seeing. You know, we're kind of like eye to eye on some of the the uh, submissions that were there. So, go check that out. It's on our YouTube channel. Um, I think I think he posted a link in the announcements also. So go check that out. We'll link it in the descriptions as well. Uh, one thing, one more thing, one more little announcement. We have signed up for the New Grounds Summer Festival, so we're going to be doing a, a panel for that. Uh, we don't know what we're going to be doing just yet, <laughs> but that's one of the things that we, uh, you know, we want to do, uh, you know, we feel that new ground, uh, the new grounds podcast has made kind of a, a, a mark on the website. We think we're somewhat cool enough to be a part of this, you know, festival. <laughs> so, uh, um, not to, not to brag, but I mean, we're kind of always on the front page. <laughs> It it, it it is true. <laughs> so, uh, ma- major props to uh, Standby for even putting this this event together. This is is actually really cool. Gives a an opportunity for a bunch of new grounds uh, artists to come together, showcase what they can do. You know, you know, have questions asked, and you know, get to know more people in the community. So, yeah, we're we've definitely signed up. We're, we we're going to be a part of it. So, if you guys have any ideas of what our panel should be, drop them in the server ideas channel because we have no idea what the hell we're going to do just yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited for tonight's episode. I don't know about you guys. Um, I've been one. I've been chatting with uh, with Tara and Prashido for quite some time now, um, especially with uh, the game that they're putting together. It's a little Picanjo the game. And uh, we're we're gonna be talking about that uh, quite some time tonight. Um, but first of all, I just want to break down the careers of Tara and Prosciutto. So I want to start off with Tara mainly because I have been playing your music quite a lot on Newgrounds. Um, give us a little bit of a background to um, your career, what brought you to Newgrounds, and just how you've developed as a as a composer on the website. Yeah, yeah. Um... So it all started. It all it all went down uh, in 2013. I was in high school, I think, right? And um, I was just kind of like passing around these mixtapes in high school, and I remembered fondly from when I was even younger than that, uh, kind of chilling on Newgrounds, like playing the flash games there and stuff, right? Yeah. And I thought, you know, maybe I should. Uh, post some music on there and like at the time like you know I had no idea what I was doing for the most part I was just like doing it because I I just you know like playing around in FL and um it all started in August um to start posting like this you know <laughs> it's not I don't think it's very good but um it just this stuff Kind of posted, made made a couple of friends, some of which I'm still in like contact with to this day. Shout outs to uh, Larry Nachos, yeah, and, uh, Larry Cola, yeah, they're uh, they've been uh, kind of with us for a while, and um, I've been friends with them for God knows how long. Um, and so I kind of used Newgrounds on and off um, while I could. Well, and then I got into school um, for music in 2016, and that kind of I kind of fell off the face of the earth there for a bit because <laughs> I kind of like had to deal with school and I did what I could, but um, I didn't really get super active into Newgrounds until I graduated. And it was it wasn't until like 2019 when I really started like honing in on like really wanted to focus on you know being a part of the Newground stuff. That's cool, man. Um, and it all like I just listen to music on here every like day pretty much, and they kind of like inspire me actively and uh i think uh just helped me discover a lot of great people a lot of great friends and uh 
helped me develop a lot as an, an artist and a musician, you know? Yeah. It, 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 I like, uh, you and I kind of have like a similar background. You know, we started off on, uh, you said 2014. It's like when you started or 2013. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 2013. Yeah, I started I started uploading content in 2014, and I had to step away a little bit, and then picked back up in 2019 as well. <laughs> so it's really cool. Um, I, it's seeing you the because I've listened to a bunch of your your old stuff too. I I've loved seeing the development of your music and and just seeing you grow as a musician. Uh, there was a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, electronic stuff like synth synth wave type stuff or just a um, EDM types uh music in there and then you've evolved a little bit more using more uh, uh i i love your i love your heavy metal <laughs> music oh, it always yeah. gets me going man thank you thank you <laughs> like uh especially with uh the ost for um uh Piconjo. Piconjo the game it's yeah Piconjo the game it's it's fuck man it's so oh, yeah. damn good like there's some like that's that's one of the reasons why i wanted to bring snuggles onto the the show tonight is as you can tell as i'm trying to talk about music <laughs> i fucking suck at talking about music I, I don't know a lot about music if it sounds good i dig it and i really dig tara's music but snuggles has worked hand in hand with with tara and i feel bringing on a, a like-minded musician onto the show to pick his brain a little bit more would be fantastic so i know snugs has some uh questions that he put together that he wanted to ask you to just to pick your brain a little bit more, yeah. get the uh, the music juices going on the show. Yeah, as <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. As you just, you were talking about mm, the mm, juices, <laughs> juices. Yeah, you were talking about the Picanjo soundtrack and like, yeah, you know that you started posting more, uh, getting more serious. You said around 2019, and I can notice like. Uh, because I've I've heard a lot of your songs. I'm actually a, a pretty big fan, and around that time, 2019 forward, like you you had a quite a lot of evolution. I think, like you you started to to put in a lot more effort and and love into the music you make, and I think that's very impressive. Like to have such a a tremendous uh, evolution. So, <laughs> the regurgitated uh, times too. Like, I think uh, it is a very, very, very uh, popular uh, song right now on the. Mm -hmm. And um, absolutely, oh, yeah, it's such a good song. <laughs> yeah, and, and I was surprised because it's yeah, it's, it's surprising awesome. because there's like yeah. eleven uh, musicians in it, and that's like very rare. I think in the audio portal usually have like collaborations for uh games or uh, movies where you have like a bunch of people working but for songs it's usually like one person and that's uh yeah, to yeah, like yeah. actually manage to uh coordinate that many musicians to make a, a soundtrack like that and make it sound good it's very very impressive i think like so um I wanted to to ask you like your thoughts on that and how how did you manage to do it like even with your own responsibilities you know like give yeah, us a little um, bit of uh, so, insight on that yeah yeah hell yeah so when I was approached by Prosciutto, um to do this soundtrack um, for P like I knew that Pico Day I wanted to channel like this sense of new grounds yeah. right um and so like the only thing i could think of at the time was let me how many people can i possibly get on this <laughs> in the shortest amount of As time you do. <laughs> we only had like we only had like two weeks or little so. did you know it would end up getting delayed for like two <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh shit we have to get this done in like two weeks and like and so like it, it got delayed but i still stuck by like you know i really want to get this out on Pico Day because I feel like the soundtrack really does. I, I felt like I wanted to really channel that, you know, Newgrounds is about collaborating and working with other people yeah. and like really, you know, gelling. Because like some of the best projects from the site and, you know, in the past, you know, I, I, even just in general, the site's existence have, have been, you know, huge collaborations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and absolutely. So, yep. 
Hell yeah. So I wanted to like kind of channel that. And the approach that I wanted to do was just kind of, um, I didn't have a lot of time, but the best way I did it was kind of cast out a line onto, onto the site and put on some bait and see <laughs> who bites and um and then I asked out a bunch of like, asked out asked around a bunch of people. <laughs> hey, you uh, yeah. me out. Just <laughs> you <kidding>. flirty <laughs> son of a bitch, you. <laughs> I um <laughs> the blue the blue moon's game. Um. So what happened? What happened was um yeah I I basically kind of asked around people that I knew, and then I kind of let people ask if they wanted to do stuff, and it came to the point where. People were asking like a week before the soundtrack was gonna come mm-hmm. out, like May on May first. Oh, that really? I was just yeah, oh, oh yeah, it was it was kind of overwhelming to the point where I was just like, okay, I have to make a cutoff date and like kind of let it happen. Yeah, dude, and it, um, you got some you got some pretty good names, like in, in my opinion, some of the better oh, yeah. composers on the track. You you got Connor Grail, who's a freaking stud. Oh yeah, of course you got Larry Nachos, Skull Pioneer. My boy, Mr. James, I think he's probably one of the more underrated uh, musicians Hell on the side. Yeah. The guy's an Hell absolute yeah. stud. I love that dude. That he's dude, so he, awesome. I, I actually... He uh, riffs actually, on a guitar. He is so... He, he, he shreds, man. He is so damn talented. It, he, he's you got, wonderful. You got Carmet, Burn 7, some guy named... Uh, Real Mr. Snoogles? Sno- Mrs. Oh, Snoogles. Mi- oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Mr. Snoogles, sorry. <laughs> you got... <laughs> then you had, uh, you had Mig Moog, Quarrel, and Karuff on there too, dude. Like, it, the collaboration for Regurgitated was phenomenal. It just... Each part of the song just had its own unique sound. And, and I was telling Snuggles earlier, when I saw him uh, on the track, I'm like... How the fuck <laughs> is Snuggles gonna fit in with this group of musicians? Because I know their backgrounds. I know that they're heavy guitar. They fucking shred. And then at the end of the of the track, Snuggles comes in with this just transition of eight bit electronic. I'm like, whoa, dude! <laughs> like it was. I told him it was icing on the cake to what is an absolutely brilliant collaborated track. And I'm like. Fuck yeah, man. It was perfect. And then it just kicks back and ends on a solid note. You guys did a great job of of putting Regurgitated 2 and just the entire soundtrack. It's phenomenal. I love it. Hell yeah. I thank, still thank can't you. fucking believe that it was like such a big collaboration, but it was based on a guy that Wade Fope wanted to ban in 2004. <laughs> 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 Probably couldn't exist if, uh, if Wade had his way. Shit, it, man. Well, yeah. Touching on Picanjo a little bit, like before we... Um, because yeah. I, I know Snu- I know Snuggles has more uh, yeah. questions for you, Tara. But I I do want to ask some questions for uh, Prosciutto. It's you have basically sparked yes. this this energy in Picanjo, and he is now back on the site. He's full force, and now yeah, we have. It's really interesting, dude. It, it's crazy that just you showing the the love of him and his his content. You know, it, it revived him and got him excited, and now. June 9th of all days, <laughs> we have Picanjo yeah. Day on, on, on Newgrounds. We have a, a brilliant game in the works. You've actually recently worked on him on his latest animation that came out, what, either yesterday? Uh, yeah, or I worked before? on like two of his animations. Which is yeah. which is really cool. Like, Well, I, mean, I don't know. Like, what? I didn't do like that much. I just did the sick death fiend poster. <laughs> uh, but the cool thing is, is you got to work with him and now... You're you're yeah. kind of forever tied to him and his his content, which is really cool. So, so tell me, what ultimately got you so invested in wanting to create this game and pay homage to Picanjo? Well, to be honest, it didn't really start out as a Picanjo game. Picanjo just kind of fit because I wanted to do like a um, like a heavy metal like fucking counterculture thing, right? Yeah, where it was like a big like fuck you to all new ground. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> who um who I started with with I might have been Ninja Muffin but I'm not sure but it was someone that I started this out with where we wanted to do this game cuz we went on Twitter and we found this fucking really stupid tirade that someone was going on about how Oni or some someone like that was like really awful or something and we were just like this is fucking stupid let's make a game where you play as one of these people and you kill new ground <laughs> and it'll be funny and then why the fuck are you on our show out. get like, the fuck well, off <laughs> We love Newgrounds here. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my god. I love that. I love that. <laughs> so we went uh and eventually it turned into well we have to use a character. Um and then it just turned out to be Picanjo. And I reffed some of his old flash shit. Most of it is gone now that was the stuff I reffed, but I reffed some of it. And then I had some friends basically just reach out and like help me out with uh putting together like a big game collab. That's really cool. Hey, how how many hands? Because when we brought up the idea of bringing you guys on to talk about the game, you told me, I, I said, we could bring the entire team on because, you know, I, I'm thinking it's like four or five guys just like Friday Night Funkin'. You're like, oh, dude, there's like there's like 15 people on this. I'm like, oh, shit. No, we're, we're, we're not doing that. So, uh. <laughs> so like how... How how many people like do like how many people do have their hands on this project and you know who who are some of the other people who are working with you on the game aside from Terra? Um, well, aside from Terra, there's there's three artists if you include me. There's one programmer, and I feel bad for him because he's the only programmer. And there's like ten other musicians, so it's about I don't know fifteen people or some shit. I don't know. I'm not gonna do math. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's about. Something like that. I don't know. That's cool though. Someone will probably correct me. When do you think? When do you think we can expect the game though? When? Because I know you wanted it initially out on Pico Day, but when? Yeah, when do for you, sure. When can we expect the game to be released on Newgrounds? Uh, Piconjo Day. Um, there you go. That, <laughs> that'd be day. perfect. There you go. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Dumbass. He messaged me about that. It was the fucking weirdest thing. The first thing he did when he got back on the site is he messaged me. He said, release it on 6-9 <laughs> and it'll be Piconjo Day. Hell yeah. 6-9. I, I, I remember. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's Snuggles' favorite number two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that was one of the cool things. Um, I, as we were talking the, like the past couple of weeks, just trying to set this up, you know, you messaged me and you said, dude, you're not going to believe it. But Picanjo reached out to me. I'm like, what? <laughs> no way. I think I messaged that to a few people. Yeah. That, that's Cause it was just, it was fucking surreal. Yeah. It was like, um, I don't know if you've watched, there's like a documentaries about Chris Chan, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, on YouTube. It feels like I'm in the situation that that guy was in, where like Chris Chan fucking reached out to him, where it's like you're making content about a person that exists, and you think that they're like, I don't know, that you can't reach him or some shit, and then they come back. And you're like, what the <laughs> fuck, I got myself into. <laughs> How's but, the uh, correspondence with him been like? <laughs> yes, how? <laughs> um. Well. Um, it's been interesting. <laughs> to say the least. It's been interesting. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, to say the least, for sure. Um, he had me do some shit for, like, some animations, which, I mean, you mentioned that earlier, but it was fun. Um, he, me and, um, Evil Skater, actually, we were doing some shit, because he hates, um, Mind Chamber's design of the character. <laughs> so me and Evil Skater did some... <laughs> We did some revisions on it, and he just kept putting cocks on it. <laughs> on the design that he's As you do. <laughs> hey, we, we, we said, we said on Newgrounds, it's not official it. Newgrounds art if it, ha- if it doesn't have a cock on it. So yeah. he's just doing his Newgrounds duties, Absolutely. you know? <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> but he kept drawing cocks on uh, the fucking designs me and Evil Skater would send him. Uh, and what was the other thing that he did that was fucking weird that i was thinking about um i don't know i don't know yeah it was fun he oh no no this is the fucking thing i'm thinking about he um he's got because i used to be i'm still friends with um this guy gurkha man who was like friends with legendary frog and it was fucking weird because he told me this really inaccurate version of what had happened with uh Bikonjo back in the day and Bikonjo was just like actually that's not really what happened and he would he would say it, but he would do it in like leet. So I was like, "What the fuck are you actually trying to explain to me?" <laughs> like for for those who don't really know who Picanjo is, I, I like to consider you a lore master. Um, and and I I Ooh. I don't know a whole lot. I just know like the basic necessities. He's basically, from what I can understand, is like the anti Pico. Like, is that what like anti Pico, anti Newgrounds? <laughs> is that like? How you would categorize um, him? I, I don't think so. Um, from what I understand, 
and keep in mind this is all from shit I transcribed out of Leet Speak, and <laughs> I'm not as good at English. Um, but from what I understand, he hated Legendary Frog because Legendary Frog had shit anatomy in his drawings. So he made like animations where he was fucking with Legendary Frog. <laughs> Um, I don't know why he chose the name Piconjo, though. Uh, maybe it is because he's the anti-Pico or whatever. But he makes animations, or he he still does now, but he made animations back in the day, which were basically just these massive, like, middle fingers to, like, tweened animations. Which, <laughs> well, I don't know if that's exactly true, but it was just these middle fingers to people that he didn't like in the community. Like, uh, I think... Well, the main one was Legendary Frog, but there was also Gherkin Man, who is very... I'm friends with him, but he's very irrelevant nowadays on Newgrounds. Um, and there's a few others, but... Oh, yeah, Wade Fulp. Yeah. It was just this, like, <laughs> counterculture thing, which I thought was cool. I like the satire elements of it. It is a, a, a history component of, you know, the Newgrounds... of, of the Newgrounds community. <laughs> and And it's cool that... It was ultimately you who kind of sparked him to come back and, you know, make content again and want to be a part of the community. And it also plays on how important the community is. <laughs> and and now that he's back, he's just full fledged posting stuff all the time. And like I, I've followed him and I, I just see him popping up on my my feed all the time of people I follow. I'm like, holy shit, he's coming back full did, like full did you force. Guys, it's awesome. Did you guys listen to Piconjo Never Dies? That song bops. <laughs> Yes, yes, I did. It was awesome. Actually, no, that's it was flames. awesome. It is flames. <laughs> that's the weird thing is that he'll post a bunch of like shitty spam animations and spam art, and then every so often he'll make something that's actually like really good. <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> it's like there's there's the hints of the creative side that just want to come out, but he wants to shit post, and then eventually it's like no, nope, no, nope, <laughs> there's too much. I l- let the creative side come too out. Too much effort. Too much effort. <laughs> Get back in your cage, sick death fiend. You know what it reminds me of is uh, back in the day, this is a, actually a story from back in like when I first started, is there used to be this user called the Better Audio Portal. And um, basically it's very similar to how um, Picanjo acted back in the, like this was kind of like what I, in retrospect, looks like their um, kind of successor in a way. And all they would do is ship posts, but the quality of their ship posts was just like <laughs> sublime. Like it was just insane. Like, was it just like art. over the like over the top, like like super creative and like yeah. detailed ship posts? I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he would troll. He what he would do is he would troll other like mm. n- smaller newgrounds artists, and then he would go and like post. Like this, like it would be like it would really be shit <laughs> step where he would like sample farts and shit. I love that. And like, and like it would be, but it'd be incredible. Like it'd be produced in this masterful way that's just like absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's like this guy, this guy's just fucking with us. Yeah, but it's exactly. Like amazing. <laughs> so how can you be that's mad? That's the weird thing about shit like that on Newgrounds is that you have the blam system, so you can't just yeah. put like crap basically, but you have to put like effort into it. So you get these shit posters that put like so much effort into shit. It's fucking. Awesome. <laughs> I think I think they might Nothing get the bored. They get bored of shit posting. They're like, I can actually make art out of this. Yeah. <laughs> I can make art out of a fucking gray man throwing his penis around. For sure. <laughs> I it's like, as we're talking about the the creative side of of things on Newgrounds. It actually leads to a good question, and um, I saw it. You know, you you two asked um, your Twitter followers to ask you guys some questions, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, doing my job for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> so we had <laughs> we had Stepford um, ask on Prosciutto's uh, post, saying like, what makes you want to create things? Like, what is your drive? Like, it's like Tara, what ultimately makes you want to create a new track? Like, what inspires you? And then Prosciutto, I know you are very art centered. Like, wh- what what inspires you to yeah. you know to create a a brand new illustration. Um, I want to get Twitter canceled, and I'm not fucking joking about that. That's why I make like 90% of the shit I make. Oh. It's so that I'll get Twitter canceled. That is the main reason why I made Piconjo the game, so that I would get canceled on Twitter by people that think that I'm associating with uh, 
I think they called him an alt right troll. <laughs> It's that's a good goal though, I guess. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> oh, How about you, Tara? <laughs> yeah, um so when I when I do music stuff, I kind of just like have these this is going to sound really stupid, but I have like these visions. Oh. In my like in my like head like a melody will just come out of nowhere and like I'll just be like I have to write this down. Yeah. And what I, I and like I have, I'll go and like write it down. And the best part is, is when I'm out and like working or doing something, and I like need to write it down, and like immediately or else I'm gonna forget. So like what I'll do is I'll like like say I'm at work and I'm like in pizza jail, right? And so like what I'll do is I'll run, <laughs> I'll run to the bathroom, turn on my voice memos thing, and just sing in it like some fucking crazy person, like. <laughs> And like, and then I'll like later, I'll just completely forget about it. But sometimes I'll just like go through my memos and like listen to it, and then I'll just dude. Write it you need to do that more because the shit you're coming <laughs> up with, damn. Absolutely, yeah. I, I agree with Snuggles. <laughs> it's weird because like um, my creative process is very like I I feel like it's weird. Because I'll have these, I've actually made it an effort to, unless it's Newgrounds related, while I'm at work, I won't listen to music. I'll just listen to podcasts and stuff. Because if I listen to too much music, it'll actually like drain me of my creativity in terms of writing stuff. Which is, I feel like I've never met a lot of people who've had the same issue. I know it's it's happened, but it's just this weird thing where I found that it's easier for me to write and quicker for me to get ideas if I just don't listen to music while I'm like driving and shit. That's interesting. I find that really in yeah, I find that really interesting cuz you know, you ask any other musician like, "Oh, what like what what inspires you?" "Oh, you know, I I listen to the classics, you know. I got a lot of my inspiration you know, from, you know, Elvis, the Be- like you know, like they have other music that inspired them and then you have you say, "Fuck that. I I don't want to listen to other Corey, music that like, me." I think I can relate to that because a lot of times whenever you're listening to a lot of uh, a lot of things you like, for example, and a lot of songs, you're like, I need to like listen a lot and like know a lot and like, and you're just like, you're not giving yourself time to breathe and like think through what you know and what you want to make. Because a lot of times you're listening to other people and you're like, I want to be like them. And then you realize you're not them because people are different. And then when you're you're going yeah. to compose something, you're like, I hate myself. I'm not like them. But if you stop and like, <laughs> <laughs> and like, okay, I am who I am. Uh, what can I do about it? Can I get better with it? Like, and work with yourself a little bit. Like, you get more mm. ideas, and then you're able to compose stuff that other people will be like, Well, how did you? Well, who was your inspiration? I'm like, Yeah, myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll have bouts of where I'll just like I'll, I do listen to music when I'm not driving for like 10 hours. But like when I'm in that zone of like, you know, periods of which, you know, most people would listen to music. I kind of don't want to and because sometimes it just kind of inhibits my and that and it'll, I'll make myself forget whatever I'm like thinking of melody wise. Like if I have inspiration at work and I go to listen to a song, I'll just forget it because I'll just be listening to another song and it'll turn to like whatever I was listening to that day. Some so like something it's weird. Yeah. No, I feel that I've, I get kind of the same thing. Just I like, I have random ideas, be it games, art, whatever. And I get a lot of it when I'm doing something, not necessarily quiet, but like, you know, reading or but like if I'm listening to music or if I'm consuming media, you know, my brain's not, not thinking on that line. There's, there's something to be said about quasi silence or just you know having that time just to let things manifest and grow and no i totally get that vibe yeah do you ever get your best ideas when you're sitting on the toilet (laughs) (laughs) actually actually i uh, the idea for what was it i'm gonna i'm uh what was it the the idea for corded on the pecan joe (laughs) soundtrack was was actually made no yeah, <laughs> While you were in the toilet. I'm not I kidding. I, I'm not kidding. I'm not I kidding. I have a theory about that though, because I, I I'm in the same situation. A lot of the games I used to make would pop into my head while I was taking a deuce, and and I think <laughs> what happens? Yeah. So 
you're alone in this space and you're already thinking and then you're, you're, you're pushing, right? And that forces this blood into your brain. And it's basically <laughs> like overclocking the computer. Yeah. You're, over, yeah. you're overclocking the computer. And so the toilet is definitely the, the best place to come up with ideas, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> if, you, if, you're, if you're in a dry spell for ideas, if you have artist block, writer's block, you know, just eat a lot of protein and then... Get your fiber. Your <laughs> it's like it's like one of those things where it's like you have a moment to yourself and you're like thinking. Yeah. And and all of a sudden it's just like, oh shit, literally, but also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no coincidence that Rodan's The Thinker looks like a dude sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. Prosciutto, one, one of the things that um, I, I wanted to talk to you about real quick is um, kind of like your, evo- yeah, sure. your your evolution of of art. Um, if people have taken the time to, t- oh, to take, yeah, if people have taken the time to look at your art, you know, they'll see that a lot of your early work has just been a lot of like pixelated eight bit type art, and it's actually it's really good. Um, like it at the end, I think it's at the end of twenty twenty, you put um, a little pixelated uh, boyfriend together. Um, of course, from Friday Night Funkin. Of course, we gravitate to, to that on the yeah. show. It's 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 extremely well done, and, and a lot of your more recent Thank stuff. You. Yeah, you're welcome, man. And a lot of your more recent stuff has been kind of like more detailed oriented. It's gone away from, you know, the the pixelated uh, art style, like with uh, like your two latest ones and the one that is in our graphic. It, it's it's more. I, I don't even know how to define it but it's more smooth and more detail oriented um like more shading more um what shit what what's the what's the word that i'm thinking of i don't know <laughs> uh but it's 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 com- it just completely differs from your pixel art like what what's what's made you want to switch from you know switch art styles in a sense like do you just want to try to evolve as a as an artist trying basically pushing yourself to see what you can ultimately create oh well there's some of that and then some of it's just i'm getting kind of bored of pixel art i don't want to be like a one-trick pony you know because I, I, uh, yeah. I i have i have a few little um little like i wouldn't call them like full-time jobs but i do like a few little contract things for pixel art uh, I got to work on a few games with like pixel graphics and I just get burnt out on doing pixel shit so much that I'm just like, I kind of want to do something else now, you know? No. Yeah. I feel you on that, man. It, but it's look, looking at it, it's, it's nice to see, like, yeah, being a little burnout from, you know, from doing pixel art, but seeing the the creative side with these new art pieces, it's, it's cool to see, you know, it, that's one thing that I, I love from, you know, just creators in general is t- like going out on that ledge and trying something new and seeing if it if it works and if it's something that you enjoy. So like, do you see yourself potentially making more art like the current uh, illustrations that you've released on Newgrounds? Oh, for sure. I, I would really like to do a lot more stuff like uh, what I'm doing lately. Um, that's all like Flash stuff that I'm doing in Flash. But um well, I kind of want to keep doing pixel art, too, because I don't want to alienate that sort of crowd that comes to my account for that. But I definitely want to, like, sprinkle in some of, like, the newer shit, too. Good deal. And, and I'm pretty sure those who follow you will appreciate um, just the the variety that you put out there. You know, that's one of the reasons why people, you know, follow yeah, other sure. creators is just to see how creative they can be. So, yeah, it, it's cool. And, you know, they're... I, I would love to see more of your work in in games and animations. Like you only have a, a, a few games and animations to credit yourself on, but you know it's nice to see you branching out and you know just trying to do some cool stuff. And and I'm excited to see the artwork of of Picanjo the game. Like you you've been hyping. Oh man, you're gonna dude, love you it. You've been hyping the shit out of this, and uh, it's <laughs> hear, hearing the the soundtrack. I'm like fuck, man. If if the soundtrack is as good as the gameplay and the uh, the design, dude, it's going to be a badass game. So I, I'm excited for June 9th. I'm excited to see well, the game. Well, I know the art's going to look good because I got two of my friends from... Because uh, back in like 2016, actually probably before 2016, but around that time, uh, I was hanging out in a Lisa the Pointless community, which uh, if you don't know about it, it's um, it's very like... 
I don't know what the word would be. They're very like um very perfectionist, I guess, about the way they like their artwork. So they're like really um meticulous in terms of like if you're like a new artist and you come in there, they get like really anal about like your fucking art sucks, you need to make it better <laughs> or and like shit like that. So I have some friends that were in there that I met back then that I invited on. One of them was like messaging me the whole time. She was like, Oh, I need to like be part of this. It's so fun. And then I had another that I contacted. Uh, and it's going to be really cool. I got some really sick animations out of them. Uh, I did the keyframing, but they did like the false thing. And I did like most of like the key art for most of it. But That's it'll be cool. You'll see. Hell yeah, man. I- I'm really excited. And, you know, going back to the, the music side of things. I actually have um, a question for so, Prosciutto, man. Like, I, I, I would. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. like. Go, go ahead. Sucks. Yeah, how go did ahead. you start working with Teravex? How did that happen? Um, Once upon a time. How did I start working <laughs> Once with Once upon a time. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was because um, we both worked with Levi Ramirez. Uh, and if you don't know who Levi Ramirez is, yeah, he's I've, really I've cool. Seen who the hell is uh, I made, man, Who's Levi? Man. Who's Levi Ramirez? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen him. <laughs> I've seen him around. Him and his rat game. Mm. <laughs> He made um, what was the game called? The the Zelda like game that he uh, made. I'm, I'm an idiot. Why can't um, I remember this? Uh, I can't remember the name, but I like harassed him in DM <laughs> for like a little while after he made that. He was like, can, "I want to make a game with you. Can we make a game? Can we make a game?" And he was like, "Just fuck off, dude." <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> Levi. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. And then. Halloween came along and uh, we made Carrion Killer, which I, I still think that game is good. I don't know. Some people are like split on it. I still think it's really fucking good. But I after did try that, a rat game. Um, I must say I really like I, I really like this game. I, I don't say that I don't say that like a lot about a lot of games <laughs> lot though. More. Like it's it's a pretty cute game and I really get it. And <laughs> Hold on, P. Contest, I, I think there's a reason I don't play as much games. It's like. I mean, I used to play a lot. I don't play much bef- like now because I'm very, I'm very critical about games. If there's like one design flaw, I get very triggered. So I rather not play, or get, I'll just get mad at the game. <laughs> I feel. So if I say your game, this game yeah, is pretty sure. good. Yeah, for sure, it's really like, Isaac-like. Trust I think. me, dude, it's pretty good. <laughs> We did have a we did have a question uh, regarding Rat Game from one of our supporters. Um, yeah, uh, Pluff Pluffmont wanted to know, and this is like probably the biggest question you're ever going to get about Rat Game. Absolutely. Who wins? Who wins in a fight? The Rat from Rat Game or Ritz from Ritz? See, oh. I, I, I think I think. <laughs> see, it depends on what the situation say, is. We, we um, I asked Levi the other day. Um, and other day, I mean, like a couple months ago, um, <laughs> I asked him because I knew that it would get um, get the attention of of uh, some people, and uh, the people wanted to know is it's Ritz friends with the rat. Oh, and canon, and the and the canon answer is that they have cheese on the weekends. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome! Adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That well, is that is the true. answer from, from the man and rat. Snugs, I, I know you had. Uh, yeah, I, I, know you I had actually want to ask uh, Terravex, like, okay, um, well, the soundtrack, like, yeah, obviously, I I hope with a couple, well, just one track and like one solo slash, I don't know, breakdown. <laughs> You you I, made magic. I didn't I didn't help much, but I tried my best. Like you, you you did you made some magic. So I can tell like like your choice of like artists was very diverse. Like and I think that that was very important, especially for regurgitated uh times 2 is that it had like so many different cool bits and pieces. Like I still go back to that song after listening to it for like 50 times. I still find something interesting in it. Like it's you know, always, it's, it's so loving to me, and uh, because it has mm. so many uh, influences. And so, uh, talking about influences, I wanted to know, like, what were your main inspiration for this type of soundtrack? To like, because I know you like like video games, right? Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and it probably has a lot of influence. Like, do you think any game uh, soundtrack influenced this uh, OST or like? 
just in general. Yeah, so, so when I when I wrote this soundtrack, I knew Tofu, um, the project that Prosciutto and I were actually working on, are still working on, um, was like be done to soon. be done soon too. Yeah, that was kind of like the the metaphorical beta test for because that was the first time I've ever like written like so, anything with a guitar other than like my senior yeah. project from last year. And so like I wanted to like test it out, you know, take the stuff I knew already and kind of add like guitars and it came out good. And it came out like, awesome. As good. And so thank you. <laughs> so what um what happened was when it came to writing the Pecan Joe soundtrack is I wanted to I, I used to be a huge metalhead back in high school. Oh, yeah. I still am, honestly. Hell yeah. Um, and so what I wanted to do is take like take the essence of what I listened to in high school, like uh, Heavenly, um, Dream Theater, oh, you yeah. know, the uh, uh, System of a Down, you know, stuff like that. Kind of channel that into a soundtrack. I was like, okay, well, how do they? What well, I actually listened to a lot of that <laughs> stuff while making the soundtrack to really understand. Like, how can I make something go hard as hell? Oh, yeah. While still, like, making it, like, interesting and, like, good and fit the game setting in a lot of ways. Dude, you nailed it. You nailed it. Like, <laughs> and yeah, you nailed it like Jesus to the cross. Like, really, it was, <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke, like, no joke, it was, like, a very, like, a regurgitated at times, too, it was very high rated, like, uh, I think for April, it was like for a while, like for a long while, it was number one on highest rated. I think no, it's still recently anymore. it's it's a Kawhi Sprite's class key romper, but for the the, the power of friendship, long, yeah, could the not power trump of, the power could of not of overcome. Fucking, yeah, I we tried, <laughs> but the power of friendship was pretty close because it was pretty yeah, freaking we, awesome. It was pretty awesome. And I'm I'm really proud. The fact that the fact that, that you could climb in a Kawaii Sprite world is just amazing. Yeah, I I it's, <laughs> you had it's, a little bit of that, taste of that. A little when bit. I saw that, <laughs> I I like I look up to to him. Yeah. Very like like we we I feel like in a lot of ways I I related to like I always him and I on Twitter at least. Um, related to a lot of the fast food garbage that we have to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so like I felt like we had a mutual understanding that, you know, music and new grounds were like two of the most important things. Um like in gen like some of the most important things. And so like seeing that us hanging in on that level is sort of like this like, man, you know? I feel you. <laughs> I, I it's cool. It, it is very cool, dude. Like, <laughs> but I feel I I I want to preface that like I feel like the soundtrack would not be the way it is if um if everyone wasn't a part of it. Oh I feel yeah, like that was the big. That was a huge reason. Like Snuggles, you, you Connor, your part, Connor. All oh, the guys. Oh man, dude. everyone, every Mr. James. everyone like. Everyone really was like, so dude. It was such a nice community working with you guys. Like I made a lot of friends in that collab. Not only we we not only made like a really great soundtrack. We also made like a really strong bond. Like it was it was magical. It made me it made me yeah, for it sure. made me really ponder the fact. I I've always wanted to do something like that, but without like you know the time constraint of yeah of, you know. A month or two weeks or however long we had. So to my next and question, <laughs> when is the next huge collab? And I'm actually working on a post. It should be up next <laughs> okay. week at some point. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I want to I wanna make a forum post and have mm. it. I was talking to um, one of the audio portal mods um, about it. And, um, and like... You know, I saw a post on on the forums that was like, hey, you know, why? What if we did a big thing for the audio portal? You know, like they have the collabs for, you know, the art and movies, movie side of things. So we were thinking, you know, why not? 
yeah. try an audio portal thing. And and like I was like, hell yeah, you know, what would be perfect for this is like a huge big ass album. Oh like, yeah. Like that just kind of like took That's the awesome. ev- everyone and just like we had a theme. We just fucking go for it, dude. And just like. I feel like that'd be a really dope Dude, collabs idea. on Newgrounds. I, I think that's that's where Newgrounds shines. Like at least like you would say, okay, Newgrounds. A lot of people go there for games or uh, movies. Uh, for yeah, for one, one game, game and, <laughs> and like uh, yeah, for one game now. <laughs> and the audio portal and stuff like that. But whenever you go to the audio portal, you're like, okay, what does Newground have that other uh, music streaming sites don't have, and I think that's like how powerful it is to collaborate with other artists. It's so it's so easy and so powerful, and because you get to, in a way, you get to find people your your uh, people like you. You understand them, and and it's like you you get to gather with them, and you make something awesome. I remember like my. I think, if I remember correctly, my first front page, I'm pretty sure it was a, a collab. I would, I would, like, when I started, I have, like, 200 audio because I, I, I post everything. I just post and post a lot. And a lot of times I'm not even worried about quality, at least before. Now I'm very <laughs> worried about quality, but <laughs> I still have my style that I can never let go of. So I just keep doing that. But... With collabs, it's like you get to you get this other component of compassion. Like when you're alone, you can do things your own, but when you're so, with someone, you have to like kind of. It's like a, a a little friendship. You're like, okay, I'll help you with what I got. Yeah. You help me with what you got, and like we'll make something awesome with what what we have. And I think that's that's the awesome part about the uh, audio portal and. New grounds. It's amazing. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the benefits of any collaboration. It's it's the fact that you have components of the new grounds community coming together to create something that they love to do. So like, just just hearing the small collaboration of the Picanjo OST and on Regurgitated, it was great. Because like I said, there. There's some musicians on there who I know and I love like a lot, and some of them s- still deserve a lot of recognition on on Newgrounds. And like Snuggle said, you know, Newgrounds is known for animations, its game, <laughs> and and when it comes to the audio side <laughs> of things, um, you know, music is kind of looked down on, voice acting is kind of looked down on, or I shouldn't say looked down on. It's kind of like just pushed to the side, and there are so many good. Uh, tracks that are uploaded to the front Hell page yeah. to the audio portal Hell at yeah. all times, yeah. and when like, when I see you guys post uh, put stuff up on there, it, I I listen right away because I love hearing the music that you guys put out. And I, I was telling Snuggles the other day, you know, it, it actually made me, it. You got me choked up, dude. When you <laughs> when you put your Twitter out, your your Twitter post the other day, I'm like, dude, what the I, I had, that was so nice. I had of you. to say that because and, you're always so supportive, dude. <laughs> like, and, and, you're like that one fan I, I, that's like, go, go, go. I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but like that, that's the thing. I I love supporting those who I know put their heart and effort into their music, and you can hear it at, at all times. There's people who put out stuff just for the hell of it. And, you know, like there's, there's people who will put out, you know, you know, practice artwork, um, you know, just shit post animation just to put stuff out there. But when I see guys like guys and, <laughs> and gals who put out content that I know that they put their heart and soul into, you best believe I'm going to be supporting them 100 percent of the way. And, you know, if I do see you're not putting your best effort out there, I'm not going to call you out on it. But I'm like, man. I want to see you do your best because I've seen it before and it is amazing. Yeah. I know you can do better. And, and that's, yeah, that's what's cool about New yeah, yeah. It, mm. is that you get like a supportive culture. Yeah. Whereas like with Twitter and shit, you just get this destructive oh, yeah. culture of, Oh, oh I don't like you. Let's that make a is call a very strong it. observation for shooter, man. <laughs> I think you're absolutely yes. right on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it, and, and I tell this to anybody who asks me about Newgrounds. It is a community, and I said it on Twitter the other day. I'm like, 
if there's anybody out there who still thinks that Twitter it or that thinks that Newgrounds is a toxic website that distributes hate on the on the regular, they don't know fucking <laughs> anything about the website. It is a community yeah. that's built Certainly. about supporting one another and lifting you up and helping you achieve your goals. You know, but you will and, only and know what, that if you're actually posting stuff. <laughs> like but that this is what i've seen from you know just from the pecanjo uh soundtrack and tara wanting to put together um you know this big collaborative album that'll go on the audio portal you know i I see it with prosciutto putting together this game that's celebrating newgrounds history and bringing all these you know artists musicians uh game devs together to create something great you know, and, and that was kind of like, you know, I'm going to do a little self plug here, but that's what I wanted to do with the Newgrounds voice acting collaboration was, you know, voice acting has kind of been pushed to the side over the years lately. You know, it used to be a big thing when, you know, Eager Raptor was putting his stuff out and you had, you know, Mick, Chris, uh, Zach, you know, they were big voice acting components. And now lately it's kind of just been pushed to the side. You know, I wanted to put a collab together and bring all these voice actors together so they can showcase what they can do. And, you know, boost them up and show them that there's a community that loves them. And, you know, we put out the the collaboration last November and it, it was the number one audio submission of the day, which I I was blown away because I thought nobody was really going to listen to it. It has a overall rating of like four point six out of five. Nice. And it has thousands and thousands of views. And I'm just like. It's great to see because it, the community was willing to put the time and effort into listen listening to that collaboration because it's almost two hours fucking long yeah. and people wanted to mm. take the lo- the time. <laughs> that's why I love the community so much because everybody wants to uplift you and support you and get to where you want to be in your career. So it's it's awesome, man. And and I, I love that you want to do something like that, Tara. It it shows how much you're invested into new grounds and how much you love the website as well man it's it's really cool to see i i don't think i would have any sort of drive or interest or engagement into music making or i don't even think i would have gone to school uh, new grounds was a huge 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 part of my drive to continue to do music for you know my living and like i i don't think i i it, everything like just kind of the reason why I'm here is you know Newgrounds and the community behind it and I'll I, I would do anything to you know help oh man that's so awesome <laughs> <laughs> no I, I I I do love that I do love that and and like I said I, I really hope that this <laughs> collaboration People are crying in a chat. pulls through <laughs> <laughs> People are crying in the chat. Let's see. Let's see. This I've is not seen chat. This is. It's gotten to the point of the episode where we've, you know, we finished our drinks. Oh and shit! Start... Picanjo's here. Picanjo's here. Picanjo's yeah, Picanjo's here, here, by the way. Yeah, he's in chat. Oh no! Whoa! Is this the official Picanjo? Oh no! For sure, you, you, Dad, yeah, I, you love you. I love you. I love you. Verify. No. You, you chatted yeah. with him. Is it? Is it verified? Is this the real yeah. Picanjo? I love you. That's the real. You're Picanjo, my father. Yeah. Oh, he just left. Uh. I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, you made him shy, Corey. You made him shy. You should Sorry. have pointed that out, Corey. <laughs> what are you doing? I. I no, he's still here. I Never do. Mind. I do make people uh, run away in the <laughs> sometimes. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I've gotten used to but, it. Um, he's still here. Never mind. I. I. I think. I think we're kind of at the point where we can ultimately wrap things up. But before we. We, we do call it a night. Um, I, I want to ask a, a few more questions. Um, one pertaining to... I have one um, more, too. One of our Patreons. Oh. Actually... Okay, just, Snugs. I just one question for Tara. <laughs> I just want to know... God, this, this shoot, fucking guy. Shoot it. Shoot it. Do it. Come, comes on the one episode and thinks he could just... <laughs> I know you're going to wrap it up. So just quick, quick one. No, go, go, ahead. Like, go ahead, Snugs. Go ahead. I'm just giving you the songs you made, <laughs> Tara, like, I want to know which one is your personal favorite. Because on the soundtrack? No, on like your of all the songs you've made, which one is your personal favorite? My my personal favorite of yours is Icy Wind. I want to know what your personal Icy Wind? Yeah. I want to know what your personal favorite is. I'll tell you, um, and I think it's because of nostalgia mostly. 
Um, but I think the song that I hold fondly, the most fondly, is probably um, the one that really got me active, super, super active on Newgrounds, and that's Aurora Beam. If anyone's Ooh, heard oh, that yeah. one, you referenced nice. that one a lot. And Ice, Ice, uh, yeah, yeah. The um, Aurora Icy Beam. Icy Wind is, gets like. Did you inspire it from Aurora Bean? Yeah, um, I actually have another track too that I'm making that's inspired by the both of them. That um, I just hold Aurora Bean to like this. Like I, I, whenever I think about like what sparked my like, I feel like Aurora Beans is awesome. Like for me, I resonated a lot with Icy Wind. I feel like there's a lot of passion in that song. Mm. Yeah. Or uh, Icy Beam. I I always I I kind of ran away from the electronic genre for a mm. bit. And um I like to come back to it every once in yeah. a while. I feel like yeah. I feel like you're you're where you shine the most is when you combine like uh fusion jazz stuff like that and you add a little bit of yeah. synth- synthesizers. Those sound great. Those sound great. Uh, yeah, I'll let Corey. He, I'll let Corey yeah. wrap it up because I'm taking a lot of time <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree with you, Snugs. I love the way Tara is able to blend certain genres together. Get together, like he, oh yeah, he'll take synth and then he'll mix it with with uh, uh, heavy or um, shoot, dude, it's um, so fruity. Bar chords. Like, that's the word for or, his song. It's fruity. Power chords. Yeah, it's yeah, fruity. Like, he, he'll mix like. <laughs> He'll mix a synth with a power chord and just, oh my god! It, it, I, I love the, I love those tracks where you could, where you're just able to, basically turn it into its own different little genre. Oh yeah, and it's, ex, ex, it's, it's explorative and it shows the creative side. It's very it. thick. And that's what that that that's why <laughs> it's I think very thick. you're one of the. It's very thick. <laughs> <laughs> that that's why I think you're one of the more you know more talented and up and coming artist on Newgrounds. Like you, you've been on the site for quite some time now, like you've said, but you've been getting a lot of t- attention recently. And, and I love seeing it um, just because I love how creative you are. I have, so I, it's, he has my full support. He has my full support. Thanks guys. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he, he has the show support. He has the fan support. Same with prosciutto. I know that everyone's oh, yeah. going to be supporting you when the game comes out. Like, there's no doubt that you guys are doing something great with the community. And, you know, that's why I wanted to bring you guys on. That's what NGP is about. We're here to showcase people who are, you know, trying to make an impact in on new grounds who are making a difference in the in the community and in their craft. So I'm glad that you guys are here. And, you know, we, we do have. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, of course, guys. And we have one other question from uh, Pluff Mott, um, our, one of our Patreons. He wants to know where you two got your usernames from how did you guys come up with them oh this is a this is actually an interesting story (laughs) yeah um but oh my god oh god okay all right um here we go Mm -hmm. um so some of you some some of you og super og like (laughs) people who scare me kind of stalker no i'm just kidding stalker fans it was a joke (laughs) <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. Um, right, Tara. Right, Tara. <laughs> oh, I could smell I... you from here. <laughs> I could smell you through the mic. I feel like I'm going to um... end up in a meat cannon episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hi, Tara. so my, so, yeah. So, go on, go on. so, so my, my username it is is a long story. So back in the day, back in back when I was a small small child, um, <laughs> I, I I used to like shit post on Facebook, like as you do. Oh, of um, course, of course. Yeah, and so I had a uh, I had a I had a Facebook page, and if any of you <laughs> on Facebook know the the meme community, um. You might know a Facebook page called like I think it was like Sonic the motherfucking Hedgehog or something, and <laughs> I didn't I'm own that page. I, I made I'm glad I, I don't. made <laughs> I made a sub page, a parody page called Vector the Goddamn Crocodile, as a joke, and all I did on there was fucking shit post, <laughs> and like and like post dumb memes from like Reddit or something, 
And like, that's basically what I did. It was kind of like this dumb thing. But then when I started making music, for some reason, I wanted to incorporate that with the name of whatever I was doing. So I took Vector and turned it into Vex and Terra came from, I, I really like to like go outside and do things and like run and hike and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, Terravex. Oh, there you go. I just kind of threw it together. <laughs> and it kind of and it kind of just stuck. And I was just like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll, j- I'll just keep it because I don't have any. I'm not really good with names. So I just kind of like <laughs> kept it forever. Hell yeah. It works well. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Prosciutto? Let's hear it from Prosciutto. All right. Well. Teravex's story kind of usurped mine. Mine's not going to no, be as good now. It will. <laughs> it will. Should have gone but, first, dude. <laughs> but <laughs> what happened was I had, um, because back in the day, I started out making art for shitty Pokemon ripoffs, right? <laughs> I actually worked on them with uh, Strawberry Clock. But um, so back then, I called myself 16 Bit King because I thought it was a really cool. Uh, fucking like master of like art or some shit right <laughs> um even though i wasn't you can check out my art from 2016 and it looks horrible um <laughs> but i was out uh i was hanging out in japan as you do i was doing extra school in japan yeah i did extra <laughs> school uh in japan i did like an extra semester which is fucking stupid and i would not recommend <laughs> anyone do in but, japanese <laughs> um no, it was okay. in English. It was like a private school or something. It was in some like Dude, that sounds awesome. some post office or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of <laughs> sketch, but um, I was out. I was out hanging out, eating ramen with this girl um, that I was friends with, and we went to like a uh, like a, a ramen stand or some shit. And she said, "Your username's retarded. You should Holy change shit. it." <laughs> Damn. And it was prosciutto ramen, so I was like, oh, I'll call myself prosciutto, man. Like, oh, that's not a stupid... Now you're a well, fun fact to throw out there. Fun fact, fun fact. Prosciutto is the Italian word for ham, so your yes. name is actually Ham Man. Oh, he's bacon, yeah. bacon cheese, <laughs> the man of ham. Bacon cheese confirmed. Bacon cheese. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, if you guys want to get Piconjo in, he's in, uh, he's, he's listening right now, if you guys want to add him in. Ooh. You want to bring him on real quick? Oh, let's go. Sure. Do it. Sure. Do it. Will he answer let's the see. call? Uh, hold on a second. Let's go. I invited Where him. Is he? I invited him. Oh, you, okay, good. He left. Oh. <laughs> uh, damn it! You scared God him. Damn it, dude. Oh, fuck. You can't I'm ruin sad. it. You can't ruin God the damn war. it, Corey. God ruin. damn it. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> fuck you, Josh. Close. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to get him on, but uh, it, it seems like he's a little stage fright, but that's okay. That's all right, um, dude. I was I, like I that. do want to ask. <laughs> you were like that? I'm just I'm just glad that you came on, uh, Snugs. I, I, like I said, I wanted to bring you on because you've worked with, with Tara on the, yeah. the soundtrack, and it, it's nice having another uh, like-minded musician on the show because I'm pretty sure – if I didn't have you on and it was just Josh and I, I would be like, so Tara, <laughs> guitars, right? Guitars, right? <laughs> They're great, yeah, man. Guitars. They got their six strings, actually, you know, they got two E strings. They're great, man. Yeah, I'm actually very grateful. Going. What's your favorite school yeah. shooting? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm actually very grateful that you. Fucking Josh. Can I talk, guys? God damn it. Don't answer What's that, by the way. Favorite, um... <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm glad. Don't I'm answer glad. that. We're not, we're not deleting this episode. I'm very glad you. you What's your favorite God, national it. tragedy, Mr. Stungles? I really am curious. <laughs> Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Don't, Don't answer, it. Answer, it. answer it. I'm a little partial to 9 11. That would be an argument for. Uh, Holy shit. God, I'm surprised yeah. we haven't been banned by now. I'm surprised. <laughs> but, we saved it for the end of the show. We, <laughs> <laughs> we almost got through an episode without breaking it up. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a tradition now. <laughs> but oh, b- before oh, before we go, all right this this is the final question. Um, for those, I, I'm gonna pick your brain one last time. For those who are thinking about becoming 
an artist, becoming a, a musician slash composer, an animator, a game dev, voice actor, just a creator in general, what advice would you guys give them if they're listening to you right now and just contemplating whether or not they should pursue their dreams and goals? What advice would you give them right now? Just, just do it, man. Just, just, just fucking, do it. just, just fucking send do it. Do it. Just <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't like hesitate like because what happens what? right is is you're like oh man uh, maybe I should just uh, wait until I'm a little better yeah and then yeah. you just like never do it that's the huge and like that's the huge mistake yeah. and like you know you know how you get better you do it yeah <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams just do it <laughs> you just gotta you just gotta go out there and like get fucking roasted. And like, I mean, like, I mean that in the best way. Like, you yes, post, so like, yeah, you said like tomorrow. <laughs> no, actually, you did. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. <laughs> that 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 is a good point, though. Yeah, like, put your stuff out there. Let people critique you in a in the positive way or in a you know in a constructive and, criticism yeah. type of way, because if you're not. You can't learn from positivity. You'll learn from negativity. If people tell you, hey, man, that's shit. Well, why is it shit? It sounds like shit. <laughs> like, what am I going to do to make it that's, sound better? That's the, you know? that's the other thing, right, is you got to get used to having people that aren't like, like they don't know how to say words. And so what happens is they like they're like, oh, this is this is garbage. And it's like, well, why? Oh. And they're like, it, I, I don't like it. And, and like and like I you just you just have to get used yep. to being yeah. surrounded by stuff like that. I feel like it helps yep. like not only like, you know, learning how to just do music better, but at the same time you have to learn how to surround be yeah. like deal with situations like that, you know? And like the earlier you can get used to like, you know, people who like just say shit, it, the better. And then you learn just by you know the constructive feedback and like we're ask questions is also another thing um yep don't be afraid to uh, especially on new grounds like a lot of the you know a lot of people um like a lot of the more popular folks and, and will will be happy to help i i'm i get sad every time i log into new grounds because i know like well i, I don't really sh- tell anyone but you can, if you ever have a question about music, um, this is this is me personally. Every single person in chat and listening to this right now, this is a personal like. You can message me and I'll and I'll help you. Like, just don't be a dick and I'll help yeah. you. <laughs> don't be a dick because Tara wants to help you. Yes, I need I need yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just just do it, man. Let's do it. How, how about you, Priscilla? What advice would you give? Oh well, for sure, it's an interesting question. Uh, I actually was thinking about this actually today, coincidentally. Um, I think, especially on Newgrounds now with all the like new users, I think definitely the like biggest piece of advice I could give is, um, start making your own content, you know, start putting yourself out there, uh, and, and, you know, do, do some like self-expression and shit, you know, cause I think on, it kind of always been a bit of an issue on Newgrounds. Well, not an issue, but there's a lot of like fandom culture or whatever. And I think when you, like, when you get managed to, like, step out of doing just, like, the dad and me fucking collab and, like, shit like that, you know, <laughs> you can start making your own shit. And you can start having an impact, you Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. Well, guys, I I am so happy that I was able to bring you guys on because, like I said, you two have been working so hard on your crafts, doing something for the community and trying to help other people grow. And like I said, that's what NGP is all about. We want to bring people on who are, you know, making an impact on on new grounds, who are active in the community and are just shining like bright shining lights on, you know, help like just bright shining lights on the website and just are, tr- are emitting positivity no matter where they go. So I am really happy that you guys were able to come on. We were we were able to make it happen. Guys, go listen to Tara's music. Guy's absolutely fantastic. He's brilliant, extremely creative. Um, go listen to the Picanjo uh, original soundtrack. It's on his page. Um, go check out um, Prosciutto Man's artwork. Check out some of the animations he's worked on and the games he's he's participated in as well. And make sure you play Picanjo the game 
on Pecanjo Day, which is June 9th. Six dash nine. nine. Yeah. Six, nine. <laughs> and, and Can while I show you're, something really it, quick? While you're at it, listen to some Mr. Snuggles. I mean, Hell yeah. I'm all right. I'm all right. Snuggles, yeah, I, I, Snuggles I, makes I the magic. But no, yes. <laughs> I was say thank you, thank you, thank you to Mr. Snuggles for coming on and being a. Thank you for allowing um, me to um, be in this awesome podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy! <laughs> he he's one of our good friends, so I I felt it was only fitting to to bring him on. Um, so thank you again for coming on, buddy. Thank and then you. Josh, yeah, th- thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> and yeah, then you're be- welcome. <laughs> thanks, Josh. And while for we're not giving out thanks, real Mr. Snuggles game. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I meant. I guess it's Snuggles a lot of work to get game. that on the PlayStation One. I'm telling <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, Mr. Snuggles. But while we're giving out hey, thanks, we, we also have to give a shout out to all our patrons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we you are beat up me to, to it. a dirty dozen now. We got a dirty dozen now. Yeah. Uh, I do. I, I do got to call out my fellow hosts though. I've noticed some of them have dropped in tears, and I think it's because you guys have not been uh, yelling their names. So I'm oh. here to rectify this this week. I was going to so, do it, gonna... too. I was going to do it. I have the list up in front of me right now, but we got to let the main man who screams we gotta, the name We got to do it properly. Here we got to let go. you do it, Josh. Got, go ahead. We, we got our base, base supporters who we love, our patrons. Uh, we got uh, good old Bacon. Mm, bacon. I'm mm, actually uh, working on a little something with him and some guys. This could be fun. Woo. We got... Uh, we got Plum Fought, and yes, I know I said that wrong, and I'm just going to do it anyway because uh, you <laughs> called me out on it, and I'm just not going to stop now. So that, that's that's what we're doing now. And we got Boozle. We got Charissa. We got GR18 Vids, 14 Kids. And on that note, if you have like a really fucking weird username that you want me to just to fumble through and sound like an idiot, please support us because I will do it. <laughs> we've, we've also got Kid with a 1 because... He's number one. We got Spectra Lee. And we got ZJ. And then our next set of patrons. Here we go. A little louder this time. We got Commander Ken. Yeah, my man. And we got Kevin Polo. Is it Polo or Pollo? Is it chicken or no? Po- Pollo's with Pollo's with two L's, so it's po- it's Polo. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Polo. I was hoping it was chicken, because I love me some fucking chicken. <laughs> and we've got our top tier patrons. Chachi and Mr. Thomas WFG Fall. I don't know what his middle initials are. There we are. Thank you. Thank you all for your support. Um, Yeah. And and your money. We love your money that we never spend. But we will. We will be spending it eventually. We got uh, we got some events coming up soon, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, everyone, thank thank you so much for your love and support. We appreciate you guys. You know, um, Zen, Josh, and I we're we're working to come up with a, a a format that's enjoyable for not only you guys but for us as well. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> stay stay tuned for new content on the New Grounds podcast. We we still want to make this show as awesome as we believe it is right now. So thanks for tuning in tonight. We will see you guys next week. Thank you again to Tara and Prosciutto and Mr. Snuggles for coming on tonight. Thank you. on. Piconjo's on. Oh, God. Picanjo. Thank you to Piconjo for showing up at the end. Exactly. Thank you, Piconjo, for allowing Prosciutto and Tara and all the guys and gals who uh, to put this game together. And thank you for coming back to what is an amazing website. So, everyone, good night and thank you for joining. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. <laughs>